Let's take a look around my time capsule bedroom. So this is my actual old bedroom at my mom's house. I'm an only child and when I moved out, my mom pretty much didn't change anything about the room. So it still looks the same as it did in, I think 2008 or 2009 when I decorated it in this lovely brown leopard print <laughs> motif. So we'll start with the day bed. Over here on this bench, there are some old magazines. These are from 2000 actually, I found them in the garage. And then this is a Backstreet Boys magazine with pictures that I bought at the Millennium Tour concert in the year 2000. There's also a newspaper clipping in there from the Minneapolis newspaper about that concert. Over here, a random stuffed chihuahua. Here's a basket full of sorority stuff from college and just randomly a fringed belt from Abercrombie. I found that in the garage and <laughs> I guess I didn't put it in the closet. Over here we have CDs. I actually have an impressive number of CDs. I also have a couple of disposable cameras. Someday I will get them developed. And then in this drawer, ooh, this is a charm from a Kathy Van Zeeland bag. Do you guys remember those? Very blingy. I also found this recently. It's an American Girl alarm clock, more CDs, obviously. Let's take a look around the dresser. This is very staged. I um, had it staged this way for a video. I have a lot of beauty products actually in here. Um, some of these are really, really old that I found in an old makeup bag and then some have actually just been sitting here like that Clinique Happy and this Escada perfume. I'm pretty sure I used those actively the last time that I lived in this room. And then this H2O is something that I found in an old makeup bag along with these Mary Kate and Ashley brand nail polishes. Do you guys remember those from Walmart? Also some old lip gloss, MAC lip gloss in Purr was my shade because Paris Hilton wore it. Okay, and here's the jackpot, you guys. I found an old makeup bag from the literal 90s and it was full of makeup, nail polish, and Bath & Body Works products in these like vintage packaging. So we've got some of those old chunky Bath & Body Work lip balms, we've got some perfume. Look at those giant lip smackers. There's Bon Bon nail polishes in there. And then in the dresser is just kind of like a random assortment of things. Some more old Bath & Body Works, some old Victoria's Secret body spray, uh, some old Victoria's Secret bathing suits. These are also from the last time I lived in this room. A crown. <laughs> and this is a makeup bag from Urban Decay, um, free gift with purchase. I also randomly found the old glasses. I have the entire set of Gossip Girl books. Here's some more old magazines. These are from 2010. So I actually lived home briefly in 2010 after I graduated from college. My Dooney, which is my prized possession. I dug her out of the back of the closet. I thought she was long gone, so I was really excited that it was actually still in the back of the closet. Look at this ancient straightener. I think it was my first straightener ever, and it still works. Those Got Milk ads were on my wall in 2000 and 2001. I don't usually actually have them there. They're there for video, along with that Beanie Baby sitting on top of the television. This whole area was actually staged, like I said, for a video. My bookshelf has a lot of gems. And then over here we have a mannequin, which I took from my job at Express at the mall because we got new ones. And then a nice Victoria's Secret pink tote bag. And then this, this is the best thing in the room, I think. It's a TV with a VCR built in and it actually works and I have a huge VHS collection. And then of course we have a whole bunch of pictures. Here's a bunch of accessories that I also found in the garage. A lot of these are from like the late 90s and early 2000s. That patch has to be from like 1998. And then some more accessories. These are from a little bit later. My tanning goggles, obviously. And look, my tassel from my graduation cap in 2005. Of course, I got the blinged one. And I even have my class ring. It has been sitting in this box for almost 20 years. Class rings were so funny because we got them early, like junior year, I want to say. And we all wore them for like a month and then decided we were over them. And I'm sure they were wildly expensive. So the bookshelf is full of stuff. A lot of this stuff has been in here for years, like my shot glass collection. And then other things like that hype candle are things that I have found and that Furby I have found later and kind of added back into the room for video purposes and just kind of to stage it as a more Y2K room. I have a whole bunch of can koozies in here <laughs> from local bars. And then I have all four years of my yearbooks. And what's really fun about these is that I have things stuffed inside of them. So I actually have some invitations to people's graduation parties. I have um, things that people signed. I have notes and things like that. So those are 
fully cringe to look through, but kind of fun. This is my senior year, class of 2005. And then I used to like Mod Podge shoe boxes full of collages of magazines and put pictures in them. That's actually an old TV that's like a more modern TV, but I have replaced it with the VHS one so I could watch it. And then this box, this box is from middle school. It is full of notes, photos, I mean, you name it, it's in there. There's even like a Backstreet Boys fake all access pass that I think came with the VHS. And then we have my stereo. I think I got this for Christmas, I want to say 2001. The radio still works, but sadly, the CD player no longer works. I've tried many times and it will not play CDs, so I think it's gonna go in the trash soon. Okay, everybody always asks about the closet. I've actually taken most of the clothes that were in the closet back to where I currently live, but there are some gems. Those windsuits are my grandma's from the 90s. We've got Abercrombie jackets. We've got this tweed jacket that I thought was really cool in like 2006. A lot of fur collars on everything. And these are all my old clothes. So there's old homecoming dresses. That skirt is from like 2005, I wanna say. And then I have my holiday Barbie collection from the late 90s. I didn't take them out of the boxes because someone told me that I wasn't supposed to. These are all pictures. So actual physical printed out pictures organized by year um, from middle school until college. And then a bunch of t-shirts. Over here, we have a sorority composite, but on top of that, old Polly Pockets. I found these in the garage. They're in perfect condition. I loved my Polly Pockets back in the day. So that is it for this mini tour of my time capsule bedroom. Let me know what you want to see in more detail. And next time I go visit, I will show you because sadly, this is not my actual room. This is at my mom's house in Wisconsin. Bye.